Hey Chiefs fans, yes I'm still wearing the hat, mainly because I didn't feel like taking a shower or changing my clothes. It is, it is the next day. Guess where I am, go ahead, guess, guess, I, I, I'm just, Alaska, you are not, you're not very bright. It, it was close though, it was close. Uh, we are still, obviously, in New York, and uh, this morning I had to wake up crazy early. I, I, I woke up actually at 3 o'clock, I w didn't need to wake up at 3 o'clock, but I couldn't sleep. Um, so that that was nice and fun, but my dad, he, he ran a marathon, that's the reason we're here in New York, and um, he, he just finished it. I, I was going to record and everything, uh, but it's just real real brief where we could see him. So we just finished, and uh, we're going to get some pizza in New York. There, there, there's, there's nothing else to eat in, in New York. I'm kidding, but it's like, it's like going to uh, something somewhere that has a stereotype and not eating the stereotypical food. Um, <laughs> of course. Um, so that's that's it. We're heading to a nice pizza place that I've eaten at three times. Um, <laughs> I think it's all I've eaten here, and I've worn the same outfit every time. You know, the, the classic. Well, I'm not wearing my black V-neck though. It's it's insane. I have like six pairs of those because actually it's probably really loud. Um, actually. Uh, I was in a commercial, uh, a Bright House commercial. I don't know if you have that where you guys live. I, I don't have it where I live, so I'm like, Bright House, what is that? Um, so, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, right. So then I had, I had to, I put all these clothes. Um, we're not supposed to walk it, are we? No. The red hand means stop. I, I did not know this, uh, this international sign of, of stop until, until I went to New York. Isn't that convenient? But, um, but I put all the clothes in this like bag because they need my clothes and then I forgot it at somebody's car or something that took me home. So I now, the only clothes I own is a pair of white pants and then this outfit and then like four, four black v-necks and that's it. All my colors and everything. And so this is like all I have here in New York and it's cold so I can't just like sport my black v-neck. I might one day just like sport it. Uh, but we're gonna eat. Um, it's it's right it's right up the road. We got McDonald's back there. I, I don't know if you saw that. 99 billion served. I'm gonna order 999 million whoppers from that place so I can be the 900 the 100 billion person. But what what would happen if like I missed it by one and the, and this guy this like this like guy walked walked up and like bought something and he was the 100 billion served whoppers. That would I would would not feel feel good about myself. Oh my! And I'd be fat. Nine hundred ninety-nine million whoppers. Can you imagine that? How how fat you'd be? Obesity. Um, but welcome to America. But uh, do I have anything else to say? No. <laughs> Uh, what? I said Whoppers. She's like laughing at me, my mom. I said Whoppers this whole time. Big Macs. Ha! Ah. You, you guys are watching an idiot that doesn't know his American foods. There's a stereotype. Coming to America and not having a Whopper from McDonald's. There you go again. You see? You see how it's, it's. Oh, I need to get some, some fruit. It doesn't react well to my body. It's like, what? Doc it's not Dr. Pepper? It's not zero? Get out! Get out of my body! Uh, people are looking at me funny. That's, that's what happens when you're a vlogger. You become, uh, nobody, nobody, uh, phases you. And I'm gonna go eat now. Eat some food. New York food. I don't know the accent. But, guys, see you tomorrow.